Amen. Amen. Uh, so as we walk with Jesus, we, we face good things. But we are still also in the fallen world. So bad things also happen without us are calling upon it. So when it comes by surprise, know how to behave. May the Lord be praised. That's my prayer. And that's how I pray for you. Never be surprised. So be always alert and on the same page with the heaven. So because everything comes from God. Lambert and I are going to serve you today. Yes, and praise Jesus. Last time I started talking about the kingdom of God. I started uh, through walking with God. My intention was that our hearts are ready and um, ready to embrace the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of God, it is within us. Hallelujah. Amen. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, it's the same thing. So Matthew talked about the kingdom of heaven. So he rarely mentioned about the kingdom of God. But all that mentioned about Jesus, it was talking about the coming of Jesus, the king, the reign of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Without further ado, let's continue. I want this morning, you and I, as we know that the kingdom of God lives in us, we will be careful how we walk with that king. We will be careful. Let me say this as well. There is a servant of God, Miles Monroe. If there is anybody who spoke about the kingdom kingdom of God is him. He had been called to speak about the kingdom there of God. Is, there is an example he used and it impacted me through his books so that the, for you to understand the kingdom of God, to understand it while still on earth and understand how it works, it's how you need to study how the kingdom of this earth works. Uh, and you learn how the England uh, colonized um, Kenya and Uganda. The colonial power and those who were under the colonial power, this, the way you find in those countries, you still find signs of the colonial uh, times. So for you to understand this, there are things you may find here, very small things, remains of the colonial, the Belgian colonial, and even a small part of, um, of German, but by the grace of God, by the grace of God, even the king, the, the, the countries that were under the colonial power are now becoming free. But the kingdom of heaven, you can't get rid of it. That's where it, def it, is, it differs from these ones. You can't get rid of it. You can't get rid of it. Another thing, good thing that it has, it doesn't have rules. You are allowed, you have the freedom to obey the law or not. And that is where things become stuff. Because we have the freedom. We have the freedom to walk 
in the law or to not walk um, in the law. Kumonsi, on daily basis, bijuru, the kingdom of heaven, yavgo, the instruction from heaven, propose, ure it's, uh, you, you have a choice. It's out of your own free will. When you walk in it, you are blessed. Ubo ni you get you get benefits. Imani May the Lord help us. Turasoma. We will be reading Genesis 1. In Genesis chapter 1, Changwa Itanjiro Rimwe, Genesis chapter 1, Makunya Nagatanda to Makunya Rumunani, twenty six to twenty eight, the Soma Namateo Gatanda Tichumi Nalambera Som, and then Matthew six, verse ten. Imana Iravugiti, Turemo Munhajiri Shoya Tru, Asenatqui, but Quare, a mafio Munyanja, Nino Nini Sigabzo Mutire, a Matungo Isiose, Nijikuruka Hasi, Jos. Imana ire mu muntu ngo agire ishusho yayo afite ishusho y'Imana niko yamuremye umugabo no mugore niko yabaremye Imana ibaho umugisha Imana irababwira iti mwororoke mugwire mwuzurise mwimenyereze ibiyirimo mutwara mafiyo mu nyanja inyoni ibisiga byo mu kirere nibintu byose bifite ubugingo byigenza kwisi Matayo gatandatu 10 ni rya singisho Yesu yavuze ubwami bwawe buze ibyo ushaka bibeho mwisi nkuko biba mwijuru amen genesis chapter 1 verse 26 through 28 then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the uh, all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the living thing that moves on earth. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 10, that's the Lord's Prayer. And it says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Mana data, jitodong hichi njichi, nagushimira umunhuwese, wabonye abzuka wabonye yambara wabonye yitegura kuza gusenga mwami ndagushimira uwo uko wamubonye mana uwakoza ryo wese akaza mu nzu yitirwa izina ryawe mwami nuko agushaka mana turagusenga muri iki gitondo ngo ukingure mwami ijuru ururukubane ni uwo muntu mwami ugire icyo uvugana n'uwo muntu umwana w'umuntu ntabishwaho nibyo kurya byinjira mu kanwa bigasokera mu myanya igomba gusokerwamo n'umwanda ahubwo umwana w'umuntu ugushaka atungwa ni jambo rivuye mu kanwa kawe reka rero uhumeke uguteza amatwi wese yumve mana umunsi ku munsi tubeshwaho nawe ohereza ijambo rya we ridukize ohereza ijambo rya we ritubesheho ohereza ijambo rya we riturinde muri bya bitangaza bizatugeraho imbere ohereza ijambo ryawe riturinde muri bya bindi bizadutungura ohereza ijambo ryawe turibike kugira ngo mwami turyibwire rituyobore nzira dukwiriye niko tugusaba mwami turi mu bihe tukubwira ngo turashaka gukomeza kugendana nawe umwaka wose turashaka kubana nawe ngaho rero humeka ohereza ijambo uvuge mwami uhindura ibintu ushyira ibindi ku murongo ubuzima bwacu ni mwizina rya isumbisabye mbyizeye amen amen imana ishimwe cyane praise god eh itangiriro rimwe 26 28 ujyuhamenya nk'umukristo you need to know genesis chapter 1 26 through 28 Kuko as a christian rikubwira ukuntu kuva kera imana yari ifite igitekerezo cyuko umuntu ari we wenyine mu byo yaremye usanayo it gives you an idea that god intended since the beginning to have man among all his creation to be 
in his likeness ja wiko mamugatuzu uvuga uti ndakomeye so you need to appreciate yourself and know that you are valuable wewe nyine kwisi uri umuntu usa ni imana it's you only on earth who looks who has the likeness of god imana irakurema nguse nayo god created you to have his image ugire kamere yayo so that you have his likeness ugire nature yayo so that you have his nature ugire ubushobozi gira so that you have his ability mu byaremwe byose among all the creation so he didn't make you a tree kugira umusozi he didn't make you a hero he didn't make you a, a, a notion or kwanzi yubinyanja nta nubwo uyu munsi ubukitwa ndereya cyangwa mariko so if you were one of those you wouldn't be mark or andrew wende uburi tanganyika so you may be tanganyika cyangwa nyabarongo you may be even nyabarongo ntabwo wabaye so you didn't become that. uru umuntu you are a human being hallelujah Amen. Ufite ishusho y'Imana yari mu ijuru n'isi. Have the image of God who created. Muri wowe hahishema ibintu bisa n'Imana. In you there is hidden some light. Muri wowe harimo ubutunzi busa n'ubutunzi bw'Imana. There is a treasure in you that looks like the treasure of God. Imaze kurema umuntu. So after creating man, imugira boss, he made him the ruler. Iravuga ngo ntabwo ibiti bizagutegeka. He said you will not be governed or ruled by the priest. Ibiremwe kwisi sibyo bizagutegeka. Whatever is created on earth will not rule Amazon over you. Uh, houses will not rule Amamo over you. cars will not rule over System you the systems of this earth will not rule over you whatever is regarded to be strong in this earth, i created you in my image i give i put in you my power so that you have authority over the birds of the air and you have also to start oh, hallelujah you start, so subdue them nkundi jambo rivuga ngo nuko imana imaze kurema umugabo n'umugore ibahumugisha and i love the word that says that after creating male and female he blessed them ni kintu gikomeye kumva ko kantu bibiri katwongeraho ngo ibahumugisha it is very important to understand the bible adds he blessed them nuko bagashoboraga kubarema he could have created them ntibahumugisha without and not bless them ako bibiri twongereraho but the bible adds ngo umugabo n'umugore the husband and wife ibahumugisha he blessed them ibahumugisha he blessed them reka twumva wa mugisha ho wagaha let understand that blessing wari umugisha it was a blessing yari authority iturutse kuri yo it was a authority coming from ubutware buturutse kuri yo authority from god ukamanuka muri abo bantu hook that comes in them ngo bayihagarari so that they represent him amen amen so that they may represent him so that they may represent god uh, the bible tells us in isaiah 66 god lives in heaven yes ashim that's but he has untrusted the world to people. so he needs them. we need a authority coming from heaven that works on us so that whatever is on earth is looking the same way it is in heaven amen amen whatever is in heaven whatever he is planning in heaven whatever he thinks about in heaven on earth needs to come down on earth so there is a need of a link there is a need of a mediator that is why he gave authority to man kenshi cyane uje ubimenya we nk'umukristo many times you need to remember this so the first man destroyed the plan umuntu wa mbere yishe vy'Imana yapangaga the first adam destroyed the plans of Imana yashakaga nyine ubwo butware butembere kwisi because he wanted god wanted his authority to work on earth, but adam didn't know about it and it the the plan was destroyed the communication was the will of god was not done on so that is why today if you haven't received the kingdom of god in you you don't know the news from heaven communication communication with heaven is cut you are a strange 
ninja to heaven. You don't have news from You don't have authority to bring heaven on You don't have a claim to anything of heaven. You are just a stranger when it comes to things of heaven. Because the Bible tells us that we used to be strangers when it comes to promises of God. But today, after the first Adam, God brought us back. He sent the second Adam he came to redeem what was destroyed by the first Adam. So we have now authority that things that were lost can be redeemed. Praise Jesus. So you have to thank God for this. In this earth, in this world as we are in, we have authority because the second Adam the mediator between man and God brought back the kingdom of God and he brought it closer to us and he told us it is possible and even today it is possible whatever was dead can be resurrected whatever was lost can be redeemed again praise Jesus and he amen so the kingdom of heaven it came back back on earth and with all its power it is, was in the man called Jesus Christ. The last time I talked to you, whether it is John the Baptist who prepared the word for Jesus, whether it is Jesus himself, they all came speaking the same thing that you have to be careful you have to know that they all came speaking about the kingdom of God but their first words were repent amen amen I want you to understand what repentance means for the kingdom for the things of heaven to come in you for the authority of heaven to come in you for the things destined to the children of God come in your life they will always be this word repent Hallelujah. amen Therefore, that's why Jesus said, when you pray, don't ever forget to say, may your kingdom come. How can it come? May your, what you will in heaven be manifest in earth. If you are a son of God, and you don't hunger and thirst for the kingdom of God to be manifest in you, then you have a problem. You need to ask yourself, why is it that the, the, the work of God is not manifesting in me? If the kingdom of God is manifesting in Jesus and he has come to destroy all the works of the so, the kingdom of God in me who has received Jesus Christ it has to manifest its work in me. Praise Jesus. So Jesus said it this way if you have received that kingdom if you have that kingdom allow it to grow. If you have it, please allow it to grow. Don't just stand on the day you received it in your life as uh, received Jesus as, a, as your Lord and Savior. It has to grow. The kingdom grows. The works of the kingdom grows. Let's read. So if you don't have the kingdom of God, you can call upon it and you allow Jesus to come in you. But I want to emphasize this. If you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, uh, there is no way the kingdom of God cannot grow. Praise Jesus. In Matthew, Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. 
Yesu agenderera bigarira ya hose abigishiza mu masinagogi yabo ababwira ubutumwa bwiza bw'ubwami akiza n'indwara zose n'ubu mugabo gabantu Inkuru ye ya mamara Isiria yose bamuzanira barwayi bose n'indembe barwaye indwara zitari zimwe nabatewe n'abadaimoni n'abarwayi bicuri nibirema arabakiza Jesus was going through all Galilee teaching in their synagogue synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every king, every kind of diseases and every kind of sickness among the people the news about him spread throughout all Syria and they brought he, to him all who were ill those suffering with various diseases and pain demoniacs epileptics paralytics and he healed them Amen. Matthew 13, verse 31 through 33. Abachira, undi muganati, ubgami bgo mngijuru bujera ngwana kabuto kasi napi. Umunu yenze, akakabiba, mumuri mawi. Nakwa ni gato hanyo maimbu tozose. Nyamari yoga kuze, kabakani ni kakaruti mboga zose, kakawa ndeti giti. Mazi nyonizo mchirele zikaza, zikarika, ibzari mumashami yacho. Awa chirundi muganati, ubugami kwa mngijuru ujere rangwa, numu semburu mugore yenze, changwa ya fashe. Aka uhisha, mumyari ko itatuifu, kujeza uh, aho iribu semburu kwe yos. Matthew 13, 31 to, through 33. He presented another parable to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. And um, this is the smaller, is smaller than all the other seeds. But when it is full grown, it is larger than the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air a come and nest in its branches. He spoke another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like living, which, which a woman took and hid in uh, three pecks of flour until it was all leavened. Iyo tari wakira ubwami bw'Imana muri wowe ikihutirwa no kwakira ubwami bw'Imana uhamagara Yesu muri wowe If you haven't received the kingdom of God in you the first thing is to 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 make sure you receive Jesus Christ in your life Kukutamufite because without him wikwira kugira amasezerano So don't count on any promises Kandi Yesu naza when Jesus comes ikintu kimuzana when he comes what he brings him ni ihane it's Repent. Ihani. Repent. Ihani Repent your sins. I will forgive you. Because he has the power to forgive. Many of you here, you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Jesus spoke how he wants the kingdom of God to grow. So when we talk about the kingdom of God growing and expanding, it's not about the government of God in heaven to expand. It's also through you, allowing the kingdom of God to grow and expand in you. So that's why he spoke of this parable. And he said, this is how I see the kingdom of God. This is how it should work when you receive the kingdom of God. It comes as a mustard seed. A mustard seed. But the kingdom of God it grows and Bugakura. expands. It expands. And it grows. So he was talking about he was talking about a human being but also in, in a person but also geographically. When you receive the kingdom of God you can't stay the same. The, the works of the kingdom the work of Jesus in you will expand. 
it's true. The work of Jesus in you expands. It expands and grows. The light of Jesus in you it grows. Then the kingdom of God, the life of the kingdom grows. If we, together with you it grows. So that's why what you will doing yes you find yourself not doing the same thing after you find that you are changing that's the work of the kingdom that's the work of the kingdom uh, last time I spoke about uh, revival uh, because we have just felt comfortable with the kingdom of God coming and we are forgiven and that's all but one thing we have to say if you are forgiven your sin, you have also to bear fruit of the kingdom. There is a life after forgiveness. There is a life that is not Then even your neighbors, those you live together, they say at work they will say there is a change. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't um, fail to recognize that your neighbor is cooking nicely the meat. Umuntu itera parfum nziza kagucira ruhande iyo ururwa rasimura rwara cyangwa ukitsamura ari kurayumva. When someone has used the very strong perfume and passes near you, you really get the smell. Ya Christo, the smell of Jesus. Ubuzima bw'ubwami. The the the, key, the life of the kingdom. Ubwabwo ntabwo bushobora gutwikirwa. You can't cover it. You can't cover it. Ntabwo bushika. You you can't keep it under the Nta nubwo biterwa na nyirabwo. And it doesn't even depend on you. Because the kingdom, that life of itself expands. That's why that Jesus told Nicodemus that if you receive the kingdom, you can't just see it by a naked eye. But you see it happening like a wind. When you are born of the spirit, you see things happening, shaking but you don't know where it's coming from where it's going. the life of the kingdom shakes things so don't feel bad if you don't see things shaking but remember when he came there are things you saw don't forget that even today he is still shaking himself. get used to him because his life shakes things but he will never take you to be a child he will shake you in prayer he will shake you in your in your way of earning money. He will shake you in a corner. There are things that he does. When the life of the kingdom has come, it manifests. But today, we have gotten used to it. I am challenging you, don't get used to it. Get out of religion. What does the religion say? I have been saved. I am no longer changing. I am just going to church. Get rid of that in Jesus' name. The, the life of the kingdom works. So the life of the kingdom is not just the life of, of, of the kingdom does not allow you to be the same today and yes and tomorrow yesterday. because that life that's it. why Jesus said it expands it expands until that person whatever is growing inside will become like a big tree where the birds of the air can come yes, and, and Jesus was 
speaking about the influence yes, that comes from that person expanding to other people. And uh, in another place, the Bible says that we are the light of the world. We are influencing. So the kingdom of God comes through our influence. So that's why Jesus came. It's because for you and me to influence the world. Because there are plans of God that needs to be manifest on us. So the kingdom of God did not come in you so that you sit and say, I'm waiting to go to heaven. Because it will shake you and it will pass. Because it takes And then he said it is like yeast. The yeast is very small. <coughs> but it expands a dough. So you put in uh, some sugar. You put in some flour. Then you put a little bit of the water. Then you add some milk. Then it expands. And Jesus was wanting to tell us that that how it is. the kingdom of God is not visible but it expands. It's influence is true. When God put you on earth, I, believe, I believe that there are some works you have to work on earth. I tell your neighbor that I exist so that I may work God's work on us. Uh, try to understand why you are here. Uh, try to search. Ask God. Because his kingdom works. So it's not your own possession. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you want, your will in heaven be done on earth. God was also looking at geographical expansion. Brothers and sisters. Because the kingdom of God walks in peoples. I spoke to people yesterday that we don't serve God just in this world. So does that mean that the kingdom of God is in within you when you are with us on Sunday only? How, How about on Monday when you go to work in a bank? Do you get rid of the kingdom of God related to a how about at your home? How can you get rid of it? So if it's something you can get rid of, then there is something wrong. And you have to be truthful. Be truthful. Kneel down and tell God, Lord, I see something wrong with you. The person people see, I am not the same person. I am not the same person at work. Maybe you are a good person at work. Men, then when you come here to serve at church, then you you affect so many people in the body. Does that mean that the kingdom of God works at somewhere and not in another place? So, let's come back to the truth of the word of God. If the son of God has set you, you have been set free. If you have the life of the heaven, there is something that dies in you. Amen. 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 The kingdom of God is a life. The kingdom of God is authority, the heaven in you. Either it's there or not. So how can you get rid of it? How can you be able to get rid of it? So let's come back to it. Let us be truthful. And say, Lord, I have received it. And you want it to explain. 
expanding and influencing wherever I am. Uh, do I have a good influence wherever I am? Uh, do I change whatever I encounter? Am I patient with other peoples to allow the kingdom of God to work? Yes, May the Lord help us. Let us be truthful before and to tell God it is very easy for me to be a Christian at school but when I get home and meet my brothers and Mbundi. sisters I become another person no, ne mngami, ni wawe ubzi, so, Lord is it you at fault or it's my fault let us be truthful where does the kingdom of God work in you and where doesn't it work amen Amen. The kingdom of Jesus. The authority of heaven. Where do you use it and where do you get rid of it? Praise Jesus. Influence. Our influence. The apostles and the disciples of Jesus they had known that the kingdom in, in them it's not just their own possession. Do you know that in Acts chapter 2 those who received the kingdom of God meaning receiving the they even knew how to give their possession without anybody asking them. What am I saying here? You, to, learn, to know how to serve other people without anybody asking Shagimiri you to. They used to sell their land so that they may help other people. So that's the influence of the kingdom of God. If you don't have the kingdom of God, God in you, you will never think of your neighbor who is Remember how you used to be before. But when the light came to you, now you started having compassion. Please, let's appreciate the Lord. When the light shone on you, you are no longer insulting people on the road. When the light shone on you, when you hear about lying, you, you, you feel like it, this is not something to be You know that the kingdom yeah. of heaven are uh, actually gained. It gained because you are no longer part of those who are liars. If you have um, become one drunkard less on earth, you have, a, you have increased. If you are one fornicator less in, on earth, you have brought gain. And you have also expanded the kingdom because whatever happens, that life of the kingdom. There are someone you say, please don't go this way and they they yes, obey you. So that's how the kingdom expands. So in Acts chapter 2, nobody spoke to them about the giving the Do you know that the gospel is free? And even in Ephesus, the gospel had so much power until people started bringing their witchcraft material that they were using. So I want that power. May the Lord be behind this work. And we see which doctors turning to the Lord. Where we find people who come here with evil intent turning around and saying I will never go Or they change, they repent. Brothers and 
igihe twumva abasambanye bavuga batumva nibyo byari bintunza ariko mbivuyemo we want the kingdom to expand to the level where fornicators say this was my job my way of earning money but i'm i'm niya mvu nabasomeye rero matayo kane that's why i read matthew ubwami bw'imana bwatemberaga kugiye cya yesu n'uyu munsi kandi bugomba gutembera inshuro ebyiri kingdom of god was flowing in the time of jesus and even today it has to be the same yesu yerekana uko ubwami bw'imana bwaje when jesus was demonstrating how the kingdom of god has come yakije jindwara he healed the people ah ni mumumpera mashye kubwo let's appreciate him benedict Brothers and sisters. The Bible told us that he was preaching in the synagogue. So the word of God was being preached. People would repent. People would be transformed. But they were also signs and wonders that accompanied him that attracted people to see the power of the kingdom. Yesu yakoraga imirimo nibitangaza atari kugira ngo abantu so Jesus did signs and wonders not for people to just say this is a wonderful person but to attract people so that he may teach them about the kingdom of God no you must until now no you must until now Know that Jesus who heals has no, not stopped. He, he has not stopped healing. So we have just to speak about his power. So the power you mention about uh, in your midst comes and works. So Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God through hearing but also proclaiming the word of God. That's why even Paul used to say I'm not ashamed of the gospel because I know when I preach the gospel it has power to give those who repent salvation. The kingdom of God it will be expanded or it will go through the words you do has been delivered. It will work through your words because the sower went out and started casting seeds. And that seed will, will be very small but it will continue to expand. Paulo yonje yaravuga ati wowe nge narateye Paulo aruhira ari kukuzana imana uh, that's why Paul said that I planted Apollos came and um, watered but the one who made the seeds to grow is God niyo mpamvu that's why ugahinyura ijambo so never despise the word of God yukuri. don't push away the word of God ngo buyu mwanya bamaze kubabwira ibya divorce so now they have spoken about divorce achira ukuri receive the truth you will receive it as a small seed, but it has the power to hear you so, let us not be ashamed of the gospel. It has power. And it is accompanied by power. We are not the healers. We are not the ones who grow. God is the one who can grow those seeds that we plant. So, that way the world imagine if all the married people here would go home saying i am in this marriage and i will never quit imagine if there is somebody here who is saying yeah just say whatever you want tomorrow I'm so this the singles are laughing about it i'm saying this. there is power in the world it challenges you when you sit like this nobody is forcing you and it tells you if you divorce it's up to you don't be 
the word of God has power. Yes. Indeed. Imagine something that comes in you and it does surgery in you and forces you to not divorce while you and thus the kingdom of God expands and the world is, is better. And many people start changing and those who speak truth and those who, are, who repent from the prison because you know jail doesn't transform someone prison jail doesn't transform anybody prison jail doesn't transform that's the worldly measures so that uh, those who are not in jail can sleep while the thief has been put there. but what transforms the heart? To make someone stop killing or stealing. Is the word of God. So the word of God has power. So it has power to tell you never speak a word. Don't say a word here. Yet you had a lot in your heart that is boiling. But it masters you. It tells you no. because the word of God is powerful. It is the power of God. When you believe the word, then the kingdom is and you go and you start expanding. And the last thing, we need to obey the principles. The principles of the kingdom. The kingdom has principles. The heaven has principles. You know, brothers and sisters, Rwanda is a small country. But I see how our president, when he gives an order, we follow it through by the end of the day. And we first accept it because it was spoken out of free of, of good will. For a country no, no, like what? now imagine the king no, of heaven. Heaven. No, no, no. He has principles that we have to follow. Have you heard about the um, the tax property? property tax with Rwanda Revenue Authority. And uh, it, Rwanda Revenue had brought it until the president mentions about it. Because even in his country, nothing happens without him knowing. Have you heard about those who are in um, um, wet land? Even the houses that are about in a, in a there are people who are in charge of that but the president ends up talks about it we accept that and we start applying it praise Jesus now look at the policemen <laughs> We went to do some exercise at the stadium. In front of the stadium. If you know all the pubs that are there. At the end of our exercise. We would be asking ourselves. Is there anybody who is not in these pubs? In these days do you know what's going on? Do you know the police and the alcohol tests? It has stopped and arrested so many people. Some people are not happy. Some are saying, why do we don't have freedom here? So now we are going to be drinking just from our bedrooms. Why these days? Because people are known to not accept even in instructions that are for their good. But on that oh alcohol test, you don't know how it used to be in Remera. 
Remera, amazing hano na nyuzi pari. You know Remera looks like Paris. Remera ari mbresta de hari umurongo wi pari, umeze nkari kumanwa baba bicaye banwa. There is a line of pubs where people are drinking during the day. Deka mbabwira icyo navugaga, navugaga ubuyobozi abayoborwa amategeko kubahiriza. So this is what I was talking about. Those in authority, they are directives or instructions, those who have to to apply it and how they apply it. Ubwami bwo mwijuru bufite amabwiriza. So they are instruction for in the kingdom of God. Bufite amahami. It has principles. Bene data ni utayazi uyubahirije ubona inyungu za. Even when you don't know the principles and you apply them, you benefit ntabwo ushobora kumbwe kuzajya muri muri kesiti nguje hejuru hariya uhihanure hazi uvuge ngo ntacyo bitwenda za kubaho you can't just climb uh, K, uh, kigari city tower and you fall and you say no it's okay i will just survive hari tege kubwaryo rivuga ngo hanuka wipfire uh, there is a law that says there is a law of gravity that say when you fall from that kanya twari we tuvuga amategeko y'imibanire and we were also talking about the laws and principles of um relations uziko aba muri iki gitabo it is always it has always been in this man ivuze ngo witandukana if god says no divorce uzikwizi neza ko ufite inyungu yo kwihangana no kuguma hamwe kuko kuguma aho ngaho nibyo byiza kuruta kujya hanze god knows that it is for your benefit to stay and be patient in that home instead so, of ufite rero uburenganzira bwo kubyumvira so you have a right to obey. Uzikufite n'uburenganzira bwo kutabyumvira. And you have also a right to disobey. Ariko ngiye kukwemeza iki? But I want to convince you this. Ufite freedom kubyanga. You have a freedom to say ufite yes. Ufite freedom no. kwanga amabwiriza y'Imana. You yihana. have the freedom to accept and use the principles. Ariko na freedom ufite yo kuzigiza yo consequence. But you don't have a freedom to avoid the consequences. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Can't you love you pa? Whether you want it or not. Have consequences ivza. There are consequences of sin. Ubusuzabaho wisambanira ukushaka. Will you live a life of fornication? Muri uwo mubiri wibwira ko uzasarura iki? What are you gonna harvest from that kind of life? Nimusoke mureba baba hanze. Just go outside and see. Mubabarire bene data. Have mercy on such people. Let's have compassion. Ibaza amategeko y'Imana. Because they don't know the laws of God. Ibaze ko amategeko y'Imana c'est pour leur bien. They don't know that the laws of God are for their own. Ibintu rero byose byo mu mabwiriza no mu gitabo cy'amategeko y'Imana. So anything in the law of God and principles of God it's for your benefit it's for your benefit Yes, ashimwe cyane. Praise Jesus. Ni inyungu zawe. It's for your benefit. Baho kushaka. You can live however you want. Iyo tukubwiye ngo shakana no mukristo mwizera kimwe ukatubwira ngo ari kuko abahungu bo mu rusengero tubone nabo bapfuye. Uh, when we tell you please don't marry someone and an believer and you say ah even those who are in Akuzikwa, church. Akuzikwa ruko bajya batubwira. I'll not really doing well. That's how some abahungu mwe mwambiye koko. Tell me you young men. Don't answer for them. Do you know that young ladies here are saying you young men you are not are not really believers. Because they see you look the same way as in unbelievers who are outside there. <laughs> What's wrong? Let me tell you. Now, we're not going to move on. It's in the other one of the freedom you could give a shock. You have the freedom to do whatever you want. Okay. You can look. Get your show. I know. Good time. You know, come on. Good to check. Or in zero one demand. I was a wish. The only thing you can do is to warn someone and say, this is what God said. This, this is the consequences that you will harvest from this. But you will never make him not get the consequences. The reason we come to church, we are coming to learn the principles of the world. We are coming to learn how to apply and bring the kingdom of heaven on earth and how to proclaim the kingdom so that the kingdom of God may expand so that the kingdom may come. Otherwise, you can't do anything for someone. That's when we know that you have been here while not being here. Yeah. 
Yahaba ya dahari. You were here physically. Nugo wabibabu gira ni wabibabu kunde wa karakara. Kwa abenshi wa hababa dahari. The reason people don't accept what we are telling them or they are, they are sad about it is because you were here but not being here. The kingdom we serve has principles. When we are teaching, we are teaching about the shortcut we we so we can't give you any shortcuts but in the day in the last days many people will come up with their own teachers in the last days they will say uh, this is we, we are in those days of uh, last days they will say no change this teach us about this. Why can't they teach this? Oh yeah. No. Let's speak about what is it. Let's speak about what is in the There is nothing that Jesus, that God is, did not talk about. When you read Psalm 119, it says, when you read Psalm 119, it says, they stand this day according to your ordinances, for all things are your servants. Let us submit to this kingdom. Let us grow in this kingdom. Allow the kingdom of God to expand. In you. Let the king rule and govern. Allow the king to govern and be the Lord of your life. It will be for your benefit, especially at the beginning of the Let the king speak in your life. Let the king give ordinances in your life. Allow the king to walk with you until the, until the eternal life. Yes, and may the Lord bless us. Please stand up as we pray. May your prayer throughout this year be, may your kingdom expand Allow me to proclaim your kingdom, O God. Allow me to proclaim your Let your work be manifested. In me. Let your kingdom not stop in me. Let the manifestations of the kingdom expand. In Let my work demonstrate the heart of the kingdom. Let those who are who whom I meet don't stop talking just because of the kingdom. And please set your life apart from anything that the king doesn't like. Sundagushima Tukakubera maguru, tukakubera umunwa, tukakubera ibitekerezo, tukakubera umutima, bityo ukaguka. Ukagukira muri twe ari kukaguka hirya no hino hafi yacu. Mana reka twetende no kordo ni kujambo rya we rivuga. Reka mwami ingabano twari twarishiriyeho tuzimure. Mwami reka imambo twishiriyeho tuzimure uyu munsi mu izina rya Yesu. Mwami reka hano twajya gatugarukira tugira ngo niho ubwami bwa bugarukira uyu munsi mwami dukureho dukureho izo nyegamo dukureho mwami izo mambo dukureho mwami ibyo bisika tukureke waguke reka uyu munsi waguke mwami muri jewe waguke muri mwene data reka imirimo y'ubwami ikomeze kugaragara mu mitekerereze ya bene data Reka imitekerezo ishaje mwami iveho mu izina rya Yesu. Reka dutekereze nk'abana b'ubwami. Reka dutekereze nk'umwami. Reka tugire ibitekerezo by'ijuru. Reka ubwami bwa ubuganze bunyuze mu mitekerezo yacu. 
reka ni tujya kuvuga tuvuge nk'abana b'ubwami tuvuge nk'abatekereza nk'ubwami tuvuge nk'abafite ibitekerezo by'ubwami tuvuge nk'abahinduwe n'ubwami mu izina rya Yesu kora ku mitekerereze yacu mwami wabami mwami Yesu kora ku mitekerereze yacu ndabigusaba ijambo rya muri deuteronome gatandatu ryaravuze ngo ni tugirira ishaka ryo kumvira amategeko n'amabwiriza yawe ngo tuzagubwa neza twebwe n'abana bacu nabuzukuru bacu ngo kandi bizaduha kurama haleluya mwami dukunda kurama turashaka kurama ibyo rezo bibaye byinshi imibabaro kwisi baye myinshi inkuru z'intambara zibaye nyinshi ariko mwami Yesu gufite azabaho iteka ryose o gufite afite amahoro masa mwami kuko yishikamije kuri wowe mwami ndagusaba ngo ubwami bwawe buvuge mu mitima yacu tubwemerere mwami reka tumenye ko mu byorezo mu ntambara mu nkuru ziteye ubwoba mwami ukushikamije ho mutima azaba mahoro ibihe byose kuko akwizera reka ubwami bwawe bube reka ubwami bwawe ubuze mu batabugira reka bwagukire mu babwakiriye mwami reka twe kukuvugisha umunwa ariko amategeko ya wayavuga tukavuga ngo nibahindure imvugo nibahindure inyigisho nibahindure bibiliya nibahindure nibareba ho isigeze ariko ntibabona iterambere ntibabona ho ibintu bigeze mwami ijambo ryawe rirahagaze ntirikangwa nibihe ntabwo rihindurwa nibihugu ntabwo rihindurwa ningoma ijambo ryawe nirimwe ntirihinduka mwami nitwe dusanga ijambo ryawe ntabwo ari ryo ritwiruka inyuma mwami reka twemere ukuri kubwami bwawe du mutima ukunda ukuri kubwami du himitima icira bugufi mvugo yawe dukize imitekereze y'isi mwami turabiza ubwami bwawe bufite ubundi buhanganye nabwo ubwami bw'umubi ubwami bw'umwijima ubwami bwa satani uwo nawe ni umwigisha mubi ni umwigisha uja buri byo watwigishije ni umwigisha uza agakwesshoninga ibyo bigishije ni umwigisha uza agatwistinga ijambo akari kuba kuba akari gira nko kuntu yagenje eva turamwangiye mu izina rya Yesu ndamwangiye muri iriteraniro ndamwirukana muri omega church mu izina rya Yesu ndamwirukana mu bakwizera kwise mwami Yesu Kristo reka buri kicaro reka buri ntebe reka buru ruvugiro mu izina rya Yesu reka ijambo ryawe rize rifite ububasha n'ubushobozi nka rya rindi ryo mu Efeso abantu batsindwe imitima ihinda umushitsi barekure barekure ibintu bibitseho barekure ibintu bubatseho barekure ibintu bibashuka barekure imbaraga z'umwijima bitandukanye n'umwijima bitandukanye n'imirimo ya satani bayange kubwa ijambo rifite ububasha n'ubushobozi Mwami wanje mana yanjye reka ijambo ryawe rikizindwa Ndasaba umuntu wese urwaye ngo ashyire ikiganza aho arwaye Everyone who is sick to put your hand where you are not feeling well Izere ndabigusaba izere pe Please believe Ijambo ry'Imana ryatubwiye muri Matayo ngo Yesu yagendaga avuga ijambo ry'Imana kandi agakizindwara ubumuga bwose akabiki n'uyu munsi Yesu ari hano niwe nahamije niwe navuze n'ubwame bw'ubwame bwe burimo gukizindwara ngaho shyira ikiganza aho rwaye So the word of God spoke that Jesus went through the synagogues hearing the people and that's him we are proclaiming mwami yesu kristo ndagushimira uko wari urejo ni kuri uyu munsi ni kuzahora uko wagendaga mu masinagogi mu birorero ukiza abantu ukiza abantu bumuga n'uyu munsi ni kuri ndagushimira gukiza haleluya ndagushimira gukiza ndagushimira ikiganza cyawe gikiza ni we mwamukiza ni wowe wavuze gukiza kandi urabikora ndagushimira gukiza ndagushimira gukiza ndagushimira gukiza ndagushimira kubahora ndagushimira badaimoni bahungiye bakubonye ijambo ryawe rirambira ngo wa mugabo wabaga igadarene ngo abadaimoni baravuga baravuga ngo tubabarire uyo munsi 
mwami wagira ngo niwe wavugaga ariko na badayimoni mwisi na rya Yesu iyo myuka mibi yose ihambira ibitekerezo z'abantu ihambira imikorere y'abantu ihambira imivugire y'abantu mwisi na rya Yesu nde yohereza mu kidaturu mwami Yesu Kristo reka abana ba uyu munsi babohoke kubw'icyubahiro kizina ryawe ndagushimira mwami Yesu kubohora abafite ububata bahisha ububata bacecetse ububata batavuga kandi mwami we ntubaseka nshuti yanje ntabwo uri umwami usekana uri umwami ubohora ndagushimira kubohora ukuririra ndagushimira kubohora uwo wese ukubwira ati nta ubizi ariko urabizi ndagushimira uwo nguvuga ngo nta ubizi ariko urabizi mubwire koko kubizi uyu munsi umukize uri imana yahuye na yandaya mwisi niko bayitaga ngo afite abagabo batano ariko Yesu uwo munsi ni wamuciriye urubanza ahubwo waramubwiye ati nyamara ni ngewe Mesiya washaka wakumva ibyo nkubwira uyu munsi bohora bohora ukuririra bohora ufite ingoyi zicyamunaniye satani rekura mu izina rya Yesu Kristo rekuru wa mutima rekuru intekerezo rekuru yo habitude rekura ko kamenyero rekuru cyo kirenge gihora kigana yo mwizina rya Yesu satani ndakwirukana 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 ndavuga ngo rekura mwizina rya Yesu uyu munsi mwami Yesu kiza ubumuga kiza abaganga kiza ubumuga aho abaganga twumvise bavuga ngo ngo ibintu bizakunda ibintu bizashoboka niki kidashobokera uwizera nta kibaho mu izina rya Yesu ukire mu izina rya Yesu wakire gukira Yesu Kristo ndagushimira kukiza Yesu ndagushimira kukiza abaganga wabahaye ubwenge ari kurakiza Yesu ndagushimira ndagushimira kukiza ijambo rya rya tubwiye ngo iyo mirimo warayikora ukavuga ijambo ari kugakiza nindwa ukabohora abantu bawe bakagenda bishimye bakazagaruka bishimye bavuga ngo urya munsi waraje unkoraho twari mu kivunge unkoraho ni jewe ndagarutse wankozeho namenye ko ari wowe wankozeho bibe bityo mwami wanje mwami Yesu ndagushimira Ijambo rya urambira kurya mugaba abantu bagarutse kumureba basanga ngo yicaye ndari kunda mwa ngo yicaye muri bon sens nuko uvuga ngo yari nk'umusazi yari nti yari muzima abantu baramurebaga nawe akavuga bati hari ikintu kitagenda ariko imbaraga zawe ndazogeza ndazivuga ndaziramya mwa basanga yicaye atuje nabo barumirwa Yesu ndagushimira Yesu nshize hejuru izo mbaraga zibohora Yesu ndaramye izo mbaraga zibohora Yesu ndaramye ubwo butware bwawe Yesu ndaramye ubwo bushobozi bwawe ndaramya mwamu ko kubatura kwa kandi ngo uyu batuye ngo ubu batuye pe iyo ubohoye ubohoye byukuri icyubahiro nikuzo amashyine impundu bikugaruki mu isina rya wogera Yesu Yesu shirwa hejuru Yesu shirwa hejuru Yesu shirwa hejuru Yesu komeza wewe ingoma yawe yogera ubwami bwawe bwogera Yesu Kristo imirimo yawe igaragara ifatike tuyibone abana bawe bayibone bayishimire bavuge ngo uri kungo bavuge ngo urakora bavyibone na masoya mwami wanje bibe bicyo mwisina rya wogye amen amen imane bawe mugisha may the lord bless you